else? What else do you know. like other than fitness, dude? Like, what's fun? Uh, cars, man. Cars. Big car guy. What's your dream car? Ooh, um, I want the the Ferrari, the super fast. The, the, <laughs> the super fast with the um <sighs> the Gentani exhaust. I just I just saw a video the other day. Like that wasn't even my dream car for the longest time. And then I saw that it was, like the, was it the A12, right? The I was showing Joey earlier. Mm-hmm. I have a I have a GT500. It's like 950 wheel horsepower right now. Got a lot of stuff done to it. I just got a Supra. Like a Ford GT500. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. So I got that. I did a lot of work to it, and then uh, my daily's the M5, which we drove, and then that's a lease tax write off. <laughs> and then um, I got I just got a Supra like last week. That oh, I got cool. some like downpipe tune, um, flex fuel kit. I love cars. That's cool. Yeah. I'll awesome. never get like a, I I don't see myself getting the, like the Ferrari though I I, I have a feeling like I feel, I would feel bad to spend that much on a car I'd rather get multiple cars that equal the value of that one car you see what I'm saying I know exactly what you're saying um, have you ever had a Toyota Corolla <laughs> yeah hey they keep you alive <laughs> I'm here I'm on the podcast oh They're, yeah what's your guys's dream car I don't know. I mean, keeping like kind of realistic, I do like the Supra. I think it's so clean. Bro, it is the best bang for your buck sports car. I don't care what anybody says. The B58 is the the literally like you cannot beat it. Like 50 grand, and then you just do like a thousand in mods, like a downpipe, yeah, charge pipe tune. You're pushing. You're beating like stock M3s, M4s, M5s even. Like I burned up my M5 in the Supra, which has like minimal mods on the way. Yeah, it's the best. You can't beat it. I felt so bad. Uh, Maxes. Yeah, in the accident. Dude. That's brutal. I, know. I felt bad even getting the Supra after. I was like, am I, am I even You're allowed to in do his this? Face. Yeah, it's I good felt, timing. I right terrible. There. I know, dude. You know what's crazy? Every single time. So when Max was at my house recently, and I was talking to him about God, because I, because I was, I, I, like I said, I always try to talk to people about it. So I seen like where he was at with it. And I was like telling him, I was like, bro, if you were to die tomorrow, are you going to heaven or hell? And he was like, like the I can't remember exactly what he says. Like I said, if you were to drive home and get in a car crash and die, are you going to heaven or hell? And then we just ended up having this whole conversation about God. I was just kind of like telling him about it. He had questions. I was trying to answer them. And then freaking two weeks later, he's in a terrible car crash. And I texted him. I was like, yo, I promise that wasn't my fault, bro. <laughs> I was like, but it's crazy. That happened to two other of my friends. When I was in like my senior year of high school, two of my atheist friends, I said the same thing to about the car thing. Both of them got in car crashes within a month. 